Look at that fish for you. Welcome to another edition of Don Alphen on Fishing. <clears throat> this morning I've had a, a, a marvelous time. I, I don't know if I actually filmed an opening before now, but, um, but uh, this, is a, this has been a really fun morning. Um, I've been using my glide baits and I've been doing my routine of, of, uh, of casting and retrieving and, and uh, getting a little bit away from my boat to do so. And uh, uh, I, I'm so excited. I've, had, uh, I've seen maybe 30, 40 fish jump out of the water. Um, and it's been an awesome, awesome, awesome morning so far. So thanks again for tuning in. Um, uh, I will talk to you about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. But uh, at this point, I'd sure like to show you uh, three or four fish coming uh, uh, on these uh, glide baits. And I'm sure if I stick with it, I'll, I'll get them going. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hopefully, I can put some fish in the boat. Well, I just barely started working my glide bait. And I've got something on. Can't tell how large it is, but it's not coming in yet. So... I'm just happy to be out in the morning. It's a beautiful day. First time I've been able to get out to, into some decent water without ice to do a little glide baiting. So this doesn't seem like a big fish, but I'm happy with any fish I get today. It's the first day of May. and. Uh, and it's just exciting to be out and it's exciting to have a, a, a fish on. It's right here at the boat already. So it's not, either it doesn't know it's hooked or it's just a small pup, but I am thrilled with it. That's a fine fish for the first one. Keep it in the water. That's a nice 10 pounder, I'm sure. That first fish that I just that I just got uh, uh, weighed 11 pounds, and it just basically came up uh, in. I was only in 18 feet of water, and it just absolutely came up and, and grabbed that glide bait. I hadn't even begun to reel it back in um, when I got that bite. Just had another fish come up to the surface. Look at that baby out there. It's a bigger fish than, a, than the last one. But uh, we'll just see how it goes. Oh my gosh, what a fun bite that was. That was just so good, and he's just taking me, turning me every which way but loose right now. Taking more line than I can take in, but he just came right up. Now we're sitting in 46 feet of water. So why he came up that fast that quick was beyond me, but boy, he seems to be hungry. Another one probably roughly the same as the, as the other one because, but it, it, the, the splash, on the surface was so incredible. There he is right there. Look at that fish. And he just smoked that, that bait. Oh my gosh. He's bigger than the last one. Let me get him in the net. There he is. Oh, what a beautiful fish that is. Oh my gosh. I'll bet you that's 20 pounds if it's an ounce. I'll try to take care of him while he's here. It's hard for me to film while I'm taking care of him. Nineteen pounds. Hope you can see it. I'm going to try to make sure he's good going into the water. There he goes. And there he goes, just as good as can be. I've got quite a bit of surface activity, and so 
I didn't even get my my line out all the way the, before I started twitching. So this is what I do as soon as I get that line out with the trolling motor. I stop it and then start to to do my surface thing with my glide bait. If I reel it really slow like this, it goes back and forth. If I if I push it down like that, it kind of glides one way and then it's then it kind of makes a little erratic thing and that's kind of what I'm looking for here on a bite. Well this one hit about 75 feet behind the boat. Uh, I had just started to reel and once again it just came up. It's not a big fish but my gosh what in the world can I complain about? Uh, been out here for an hour. I've had and I've got three nice fish on and and uh, hopefully more to come but look at this these these fish as soon as they come up to the surface and I'm only in 18 feet of water so it's not like it's a oh my gosh look at this fish come up he's just I just I can never get enough of this this is so fun to see these fish it's another really really nice nice animal there we go oh my gosh it's almost like now he knows he's hooked look at that he's in the net I can't show it much because of the challenge of dealing with this beautiful fish and I do not want to get him anything but right back into the water and they are so active this time of year it doesn't even take you a second and they're gone so what a fantastic fish. Okay, but that's the bait right there. And you see those teeth marks on it. And, but uh, I don't think it's anything particularly special. There's a ton of glide baits out on the market and a ton of different ways to do this. But I'm kind of dealing with the way I like to do it the best. And that's to kind of do it like I do my bass fishing. And, and uh, get out there and... And start twitching it and reeling it back in and just seeing what kind of damage I can do so there it is I'm just cleaning up my hook so I can or my uh, the eye so I can go ahead and retie so what a great fish and that's number three haven't seen any bubbles yet so I don't know if he's tired if it's if he's spent now he decides, nope, 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 I'm not ready yet. He's headed right back down. Now he's down at 40 feet again. There he comes. Or there he goes, rather. Oh my gosh. Whether I get this fish in or not, this has been one phenomenal fight. He's taken line, he's gone down to the bottom about eight times. And every time I think I'm winning the, winning the day, he teaches me different. That's the way these are. Just the way these fish are. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous fight. Oh, and a beautiful morning. There are some bubbles. Finally seeing some bubbles. He might be he might be willing to come up now that he's cleared his air bladder. Maybe not. Maybe not. He's just staying down there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's more fun than this. I mean, just can't even imagine it. <laughs> it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Goodness gracious. And a beautiful morning it is. And it's been a long winter. We are so happy to be out on the water. All of us that fish for these beautiful fish. Now there's more bubbles coming up. 
Every time I think I've got his head, every time I think of, or she is gonna, gonna come up for me to hopefully get a net, um, it just immediately says, nope, 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 not having any of this, and back to the bottom goes. Now I use 14 pound test line, so I don't wanna to uh, inside a riot here. So I have to have my drag set so that I can so that I can handle these fish. I'm kind of getting used to how lake trout fight, so I haven't felt the need to get to 50 pound braid and all that kind of stuff like a lot of people do. But uh, that keeps clicker wants to keep coming on. I've got two beautiful big fish following this fish up. So there are there are at least two other fish um, absolutely with this fish following it up. I'm gonna show you right there. Just keep looking if I can get it fit you. Look at those fish that are following the one that I've got. It's absolutely amazing. They're interested in what's going on, interested in what this fish is eating. You can tell. Now, I'm only 16 feet down now. I'm hoping this fish will come up so it doesn't wear itself out too much more. And there it is. It's coming up. It is coming up. It is coming up. Oh my goodness. I don't know whether you can see this, but it is what I consider a monster. Plus, I've got my other line. So I don't want to have that get in the way, but this is this is a truly large fish. What a fight. What a fight this fish has had. Oh, he's trying to, he's not quite in the net yet. There he goes. I've got him. Oh my goodness. What a wonderful, wonderful fight that was. And then look at that wonderful fish. That is just one of those babies that you just love to see. I don't want to get too in front of myself, but that might be a personal best for me. Uh, my biggest fish is 35 pounds that I've ever caught, and I think that this, as far as as far as lake trout, and I think this fish is going to be very, very close to that, if not more. So now I just want to let him rest, let her rest a little bit. I'm going to try to get that that. Uh, that's why it's so tough to do it with this camera. Let me turn it off till I can get my my um, lure out of its mouth. Well, it's hard to to judge, but uh, we're gonna get this fish back going again. Yep, she's ready. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Don Often on Fishing. I hope you can see these big fish down here in 37 feet of water. That's what I've done today is I've just thrown out my glide baits and uh, made sure I got a little bit away from the boat with the glide baits and started manually bringing them in. And, uh, and uh, I've caught four very, very nice fish, uh, an 11-pounder, a 19-pounder, a 29-pounder and a 39 pounder, my personal best. Uh, now, now, if you know me, I don't really claim to, to be the best uh, fisherman in all, this, in all these kind of categories, but I am learning. And, um, and, and, and the thing that I'm learning more than anything else is that these, uh, these fish uh, wanna be shallow sometimes, and, uh, and they'll come up and hit the surface. So, I didn't get the chance to, to give you a whole bunch of, uh, of hook sets uh, actually on film today, but I, I have given you a feel for what it was like 
to be reeling in and then have a big old fish just come out of the water and grab it. But it's really tough to film when you're by yourself doing that. So, hey, thanks again for watching. Look forward to doing more of these videos and teaching you more about um, how to catch uh, larger lake trout in the, uh, in the spring specifically. Anyway, thanks for watching.